Today, what arrived in the mail is a water pressure regulator. Now, I already had one of these and I've really loved it, but I've had a recent issue where I've been questioning if over the time it has worn down and is letting more pressure through than I'd like. So I bought a new one to be able to test against the other. This orange cap, the orange screw on part, indicates that it's the lead free version. This company, Valterra, makes more than one version of the water pressure regulators, some with and some without gauges. I think they're blue caps if they're the leaded version and they're the orange if they're the lead free. And what this product does is when you travel all these different campgrounds, a lot of campgrounds have varying water pressure. Some we've seen as high as 110 PSI. RVs are not meant to carry that much water pressure. A lot of them use plastic hoses and lesser fittings. And if you push 110 PSI water through your coach, you could very easily burst a line, have a huge leak, and a big problem. So it's a great idea to have something to be able to bring down that water pressure to a more reasonable level, around in the 40s and 50s range, and up to 60 PSI. Uh, if it's a newer coach. If you have an older coach, you might want to even be more protective and take the pressure down even lower. But for us, this should work out well. Just peel open the plastic, pull it right out. It's really nice. It's brass. It's got a nice mesh inside to keep make sure you don't get additional debris out of the hoses. And a nice rubber gasket to have, to have a nice tight seal. And you can see on the gauge, It'll clearly indicate the red zone, so you don't want water pressure in the red zone coming into your coach. So I'd highly recommend anybody who's out there with their RV get a water pressure regulator because you don't want to have too much pressure coming into your RV, blowing a water line, having a huge leak inside your RV, which could be very expensive and a very big inconvenience. And I'm going to show you how to put this on today. So these water pressure regulators are very easy to use and install. All you do is hook it up to the water spout before you hook up your hose. So it's just like this. This water attachment actually already has what's called a backflow pressure regulator. And I have one of these as well. What this is for is to prevent any water from going back the other direction because a lot of people will use these water attachments to flush their tanks and you don't want to have any contaminant water coming back into the water supply. And so what this one does, and if you look really close, you can see these little holes here. And so what happens is if any water tries to come this direction, it, it then stops it here and it comes back out of those little holes so it can't go past this point. So that's what that's for. Here's our water pressure regulator. Just screw that on. And I actually normally just leave this attached to the hose um, instead of having it separate. But since we just arrived here and have my new hose, so we've got, we've got the pressure regulator attached. And now we'll attach the hose. Easy as that. Pretty simple installation. And now when I unhook this, instead of having the two stage, I'm going to just unhook it here, leave it attached to the hose, and then I will attach this end of the hose to this end of the regulator, and then it's nice and easy. If you make a habit of always attaching it and detaching it that way, you can be a lot less likely to leave your expensive water pressure regulator for the next RV year. You'll be able to keep it for yourself. Okay, so I've got my own pressure regulator attached to my hose and we're going to go ahead and turn on the water and see what the pressure is here. It takes a second for it to fill in the hose up. Great. That's what we like to see. You like to see once you've fully powered up, you want to see the pressure below the red. That way you know you're nice and safe you definitely won't be damaging anything inside your RV. So that's what this is for. It's great. 
So sometimes, even with your water pressure regulator, you're going to see the pressure up into the red. I've had it as high as 65 or so, which is still fairly reasonable. I mean, it's it's a bit high for older coaches, and it's and it's higher than I'm comfortable with. But that particular campground had a hundred pound pressure, so it had reduced it from a hundred down to 60. So if I wouldn't have had that pressure regulator. I would have been in a bit of a pickle for trying to leave it on full time. If you're ever in a situation like that, I would recommend that you just fill your water tank and use the pump inside your coach instead of letting that kind of pressure push into your coach consistently. So if your water pressure regulator is showing that your pressure is beyond where you're comfortable, then just fill your tank and use your pump while you're at that campground. Just to be better safe than sorry.